I did the Dying to Talk discussion starter a few months ago and I just found it absolutely amazing. It was a wonderful experience. It was an important experience. It was a great opportunity to reflect not only what I wanted and what was important to me at the end of my life if I got really sick, but what was important in my life now. That's how good this discussion starter is. It makes you think about what's really important to you. What are the things that matter in your life, even though we're talking about at the end of your life? And it helped me crystallise my thoughts. It helped me sort of formulate what was important. It helped me do my advanced care plan. It helped me talk to my doctor. And most importantly, it helped me talk to my family about you know, what I wanted at the end of my life. And that was a huge relief to everyone. This is a liberating thing to do. It ended up that there were three things that were most important to me. Number one, the f number one thing that was important to me at the end of my life was being free from pain. It's really, I'm a whip, I have to admit it. It's really important that I'm not in any pain or even discomfort. Discomfort is a term that doctors like to use, as in you may experience some slight discomfort as they thrust a horse needle into your thigh. Never buy shoes from a doctor. Um, if I was in any pain or even discomfort, I want a control of my pain. I want a control of my pain management. I don't want to have to argue with anyone about how much I should take. If I'm not suffering, then I figure my loved ones um, will also not, not suffer. There's nothing worse than seeing people you love suffer. And if pain relief causes constipation and the doctors need a jackhammer for my stools, so be it. My pain, my choice. Number two, having people I love around me is really, I think is really important. If my pain is managed and my hearing aids are working, then I would think that lots of people having a few laughs and a few wines would be pleasant sometimes. And at other times, I would just like one-on-one, -on -one, quietly just, you know, being, just holding hands. That's what I'd like. I'd also like people to read to me, novels, poetry, short stories, news items, just read anything, just nothing by Dan Brown, please. I would also like, and this is really important, I would like a palliative care nurse to be with me and my family. A palliative care nurse, not a random nurse, not a social worker, a counsellor or a psychologist. I want a palliative care nurse to be with me and my family and explain clearly and honestly what is going to happen or what is most likely going to happen. No euphemisms, no journeys, just honesty and compassion. Number three, being in my home environment is really important to me. I would prefer to be at home if I could be. And at home, I have, at home it's sometimes quiet and sometimes noisy. I would also like to know and feel that other people's lives are going on as usual. You know, gossip, running about, arguments about who has a hair straightener, family jokes, tales of love and hope, today at the office, last night's party, the party planned tomorrow. I want everything to keep going. I don't want everything to stop, you know, out of respect just because I'm about to stop altogether. I would be very happy if I could be wheeled under a tree by the sea, if that's practical. If it's not, then the sun by a window, preferably with a view of the sea, except that we might have to move house to get that. I don't want to move house, really. I would like my loved ones to be able to lie down with me on the bed and chat and or read out loud or eat chocolates or watch television, whatever's going on, have a nap with me. So I would like my last bed to be a really big bed, a really big bed with, that everyone could fit on with lots of pillows. I don't want to be in a single bed. Um, in terms of music, I'd like familiar songs with uplifting lyrics from the 60s and 70s, lyrics I remember. Um, also some of my favourite modern songs from my daughter's playlist that they've played while they've grown up and I've grown up with them. Um, maybe some evocative classical music that, um, that would be lovely. Anything, anything really except rainforest music or meditation music or any music that is played while you are getting a facial or being waxed. 
and please don't play the same thing over and over again, even if from all outside evidence I have lost my reason. In terms of cultural practices, I shall observe my usual cultural practice of having as much fun as possible and I will make sure that I have a whoopee cushion on the visitor's chair, mm, especially if a hopeful priest drops by. In terms of where I would like to be buried, I, I think I follow Bob Hope. When he turned 100, his wife asked him where he'd like to be buried and he said, surprise me. 